Hi YouTube, my name is Charisma and my channel is Charisma For You and I do videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of everything else. So for today's video, today I'm doing a reinstall of this wig. This is a 36 inch box braid boho style with curls wig and yeah I did the video before and I didn't like the way it came out some of you were very very helpful in telling me what I needed to do to improve it so thank you thank you so much so in this video I'm gonna show you what I did to improve the install so this is install number two hopefully I got it right this time I thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can receive all of my uploads okay so let's get into the video Okay, so this is the reinstall of the braided wig. Um, if you haven't watched the first video, watch it and watch how I install it. And then at the end, you're going to see um, the pictures and everything like that. The issue with it was that the hairline was too bold. Like you could definitely see the lace. And it was my first time installing a lace wig that had double lace. So I didn't really know what I was doing. So thank you to those of you in the comments who left kind messages to me you know who you are I'm gonna leave your name in the caption thank you so much for just being really kind to point out that I needed to take out the double lace I did have other people comment I had to delete their comments because they were extremely rude and disrespectful but thank you to the one person who um, left the comment about me having to take out the double lace and then I did some more research on the wig and I was like okay this is what I need to do because it was showing again watch the first video so that you can see what I'm talking about in that video I do the whole unboxing and everything but this video I'm gonna do the correction so I'm basically reinstalling it again and you're gonna see me fix it up so just some quick stats about the wig in case um you're just watching this video and you didn't see the first one it's 36 inches long double lace front triangle knotless box braided wig boho curled ends and it weighs about 1.2 pounds it's synthetic it has an average size cap and an elastic band again watch my other video for all the details this video I'm just reinstalling so I already have the wig out and um, this is it from the it's still in the style that I had it in when I installed it so the issue if you can see this lace is really really um because it's double lace i didn't know what that was i didn't really think about it i was just so quick to want to do the review for you guys because i really really love this hair i really do so this is the inside of it and there's two layers of lace so this is one layer i'm pulling it up and then there's another one underneath so what i need to do is take off this layer of lace because that's not helping at all and and um someone also told me she told me to cut off the baby hair i'm gonna take off the lace first and then i'm gonna see if um i need to cut off the baby hair and we'll go from there because it does have like a really really hard line here you see where the hairline is that's what everybody was seeing <laughs> and although the wig looks pretty itself this hairline is not really cute like and the double lace so we're gonna take the double lace out right now and I have my scissors here somewhere oh let me try not to mess this up I have my scissors here so let's do the first thing and take out this double lace So as you can see, as I cut through it, now you see the other layer is thinner. So that probably will help me out a whole lot. So I'm gonna speed the video as I cut out this layer of lace. Okay guys, so I finished cutting off the double lace. I focused mainly on the front and the hairline. So it's, as you can see, it's much more clear now. 
there's still some in the back but i don't feel like you're gonna see it because you see you don't see the lace in the back so i didn't really focus too much on this bottom part i just left it there i focused on the top to the middle and the hairline now i left the baby hair i'm gonna see if it can still work with the baby hair if not i'm just gonna cut it off because i do see like a dark line here like that edge where the baby hair is attached and that's what's probably creating that harsh hairline so let me try it on now to see how that looks and you'll get to see it right okay and also this time i put a dark um wig cap on because the wig cap that i had on in the other video was really light along with the double lace on this wig so i think that was not helping at all either so let's just see Let's just see, this is just a trial run to see how the hairline is looking with the baby hair first before I decide if I wanna cut it off or not. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with the baby hair and I still do see that hard line in the front. So I'm thinking I should just cut off the baby hair altogether and then just try to blend it in with my natural hairline, which, you know, underneath I can just like put some um, edge control on my natural hairline and try to blend it in. So I think that might be much easier than me trying to work with the baby hair on here and then it'll help for this to blend in without having this, you see, cause that line right there, that's the double lace that was there to keep the baby here. So I'll just cut that off now and we'll see. All right, so I am done taking off the double lace as well as the baby hair in the front and I'm hoping that this will create a softer hairline and then you won't see so much of the lace. So what I'm gonna do is just try to slick down my natural hairline to blend it in. Hopefully that will work. We will see. I'm just using my Cream of Nature Perfect Edges. The thing is so messed up because I've used it. It just got messed up and I need a new one anyway. Just, um, just slicking mine down, that's all. And guys, I do videos on natural hair too, so if you want to see videos on natural hair, definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm all about taking care of my natural hair. I like to wear wigs once a blue. I wear my natural hair a lot of the time. And if you've been following me, you know my hair journey. For those of you who haven't, just look at my natural hair playlist and everything like that. And you will be up to date on everything. Okay, so this is what it's looking like now. Definitely a difference um, from the first install that I did. 
you do see the lace. Now, some people want, like to go in with foundation, maybe to, you know, blend it in more with your natural color. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I just wanted to show you the difference in the hairline with the baby hair. This hair is so long. My hair is getting cut. My hands are getting caught onto the hair. Um, this is what the hairline is looking like. And if you didn't want to have to put glue, because I know a lot of you are beginners who watch my channel, um, you could wear it down and you wouldn't have to worry too much about your edges showing. Just this part here, which to me is not that bad. Again, you can just go in with your foundation. Um, I want to wear it up. So I want to wear it the way I had it um, yesterday in the video. I like it to be like, let me take this part here and this here i'm gonna have to put mousse in my hair today because i was like playing around with it so much the hair is already getting tangled because it's kind of long but it's okay you just have to put a little bit of mousse in it this hair is 36 inches long so it's really really long so i'm just gonna take this part and a little bit of this part and then just put it back like this Try not to pull too much so that that hairline doesn't come up. Because remember, this is the no glue method. I don't like to use glue. But I will get some got to be glue free spray. And start trying to learn how to do it. I, I kind of don't want to. But I will just to be versatile in my videos. To help the people who do want to use that. So yeah, I'm just going to take this. Okay, I am done guys. I think it looks much better and you can make it look even better if you glue it down or you know use the got to be spray. For those of you who are experts in that, you can do that and it would definitely look much much better like if you wanted to melt the lace. I'm not going to do that cuz I don't want to do that, but you can see if you compare the other video to this video that this is looking much better and then if you went in and you know glued it down it will definitely give you a nice look so this is what it's looking like let me get changed again and show you the finished look okay so i'm just gonna add some of my cream of nature style and shine foaming mousse to the ends they're not bad at all but i just want to put some to tame it a little bit just a little bit. Put on a little bit of my lip gloss. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I love it. I think it's much better than the first time I tried it. And again, you can get it to look even better if you want to glue it down and spray it down. I did not do that this time, but I really, really love it. So I'm going to turn around and show you. Again, this wig is 36 inches long and I'm 5'3", so it comes a little past my hips and I'm going to turn around and show you some now. <laughs> 